Programmable Logic Controller PLC, is a microprocessor-based controller that uses a programmable memory to store instructions and to implement functions such as logic, sequencing, timing, counting and arithmetic in order to control machines. In this video we share top 10 basic PLC interview question with answer. This top 10 basic PLC interview question basically is suitable for fresh engineer who are taking preparation for competitive exam. Let's start the video. Question number one, define a programmable logic controller. What are the main components parts of a PLC? Answer. A programmable logic controller, PLC, is a microprocessor-based controller that uses a programmable memory to store instructions and to implement functions such as logic, sequencing, timing, counting and arithmetic in order to control machines and process. The main components parts of a PLC are Central Processing Unit The Input Slash Output Unit The Programming Device Memory Unit Question number 2. Write down PLC programming methods. Answer, the various PLC programming methods are Structured text Ladder diagrams Function block diagram Sequential function charts Instruction list Question number 3. What is the criteria need for the selection of a PLC? Answer. The criteria needed for the selection of a PLC are the following. Input or output capacity is required. Types of inputs slash outputs are required. Size of memory required. Speed and power is required for the CPU. Please subscribe my channel. Also click the bell icon for update video notification. Also like comment share the video to inspire us for effort of video making. Question number 3, what is the criteria need for the selection of a PLC? Answer. The criteria needed for the selection of a PLC are the following. Input or output capacity is required. Types of inputs slash outputs are required. Size of memory required. Speed and power is required for the CPU. Question number 5, what is a LU? State is function? Answer. The LU is responsible for data manipulation and performs arithmetic and logical operations such as addition and subtraction. In addition, the LU contains number of control inputs, which specify the data manipulation function to be performed. A LU is combinational logic circuit, whose output is an instantaneous function of its data and control inputs. Question number 6. What are counters and its types? Answer. Counters allow a number of occurrences of input signals to count or record the number of times some event occurs. PLCs include some form of counting element and are set to some preset number value. When this value of input pulse has been received, it will operate its contact, the normally open contacts would be closed and a normally closed contact would be opened. The various types of counters are down counters up counters please subscribe my channel also click the bell icon for update video notification also like comment share the video to inspire us for effort of video making question number seven what are the different types of timers answer the different types of timers are on delay timer off delay timer retentive timer pulse delay timer question number eight what is ladder programming answer a ladder programming involves each program task being specified as though a rung of ladder thus such a rung could specify that the state of switch is a and b the inputs be examined and if a and b are both closed then a solenoid the output is energized Question number 9, difference between relay and timer circuit? 
Answer. Relay. With the relay type, the signal from the PLC output is used to operate a relay and so is able to switch currents of the order of a few amperes in an external circuit. The relay isolates the PLC from the external circuit and can be used for both DC and AC switching. Relays are, however, relatively slow to operate. Timer circuit. A timer circuit is specified by stating the interval to be times and the conditions or events that are to start and or stop the timer. They are commonly regarded as delays with coils which, when energized, result in the closing or opening of input contacts after some preset time. Question number 10, difference between adaptive control and jump controls? Answer. Adaptive control. The control system which can adapt changes and it can change its parameters depending on the situation. It is known as adaptive control system. Jump controls. By causing jump instruction, the processor scan time is reduced by jumping over instruction not pertinent to the machine operation. It is achieved by missing intermediate program and can skip instructions when a production fault occurs. Please subscribe my channel. Also click the bell icon for update video notification. Please join our Facebook community group and Facebook page. Thanks for watching the video. Wait for our next video. Goodbye.